I mean, here's this fellow, I quote him again, Nick Jaws, that I hope to speak to him next week. He's the chief executive of the Bowen Coke and Coal. But then he says this, and I quote, global coal demand is at its highest level in history, and it's fanciful to think that reducing our high quality exports in the face of record demand will do anything other than drive up energy and steel prices, create a net increase in global emissions and destroy Australian jobs, he said, both in regions and in cities. Now, Bob, does the Albanese government think it knows more than people like Nick Jorce? Does it talk to these people? I, um, I'm very worried about the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister had a reputation for being very anti-green, actually. and uh, But I just think he may be just drifting with the tide here. Um, and he's going, he's drifting into very dangerous shark-infested waters if he keeps going the way he's going. And I hate to say that. Mm. I always liked him and respected him personally. But, uh, Alan, you know, you can't take away $120 million billion a year of our export earnings mm. without it's a third yeah. of our export earnings will but, vanish. Yeah, well, no, you but that's right. What hospitals you're paying for? And in Queensland, but you know, we've had this in Queensland, they've got no outpatients. Mm. Again, I look at Theodore, he introduced the free hospital system. The greatest pride we had in Queensland, 24 hours a day, every day of the year, you can walk into a hospital and get free hospital treatment. Now you can't. Now you can't because they're going broke. And uh, she's going to spend sixty-two thousand million, and in, in going to zero emissions in Queensland. Yeah. Um, and she's going to spend fifty billion on the Olympic Games, and her total income each year is fifty billion. I mean, this bankruptcy stuff. Absolutely. And really. But then, I mean, the maths is, of it, Bob, is, the maths of it. So we're banging on about this, and it really irritates me. China's, for our viewers, China's coal-fired generation last year grew by 38 gigawatts. That's 19 Liddell power stations. China have got something like 127 new coal-fired power plants in the pipeline. They'll use our coal. India's got 27. Indonesia, about 52. Japan, about 22. Vietnam, about 17. And we're going on about this Paris Accord apparently to reduce global temperatures because these ideological zealots think carbon dioxide is the problem. I mean, Bob, I, oh, I don't know. I mean, where do we stop this nonsense? Well, I, I was speaking to some of the workers. Um, some of these blokes are involved in the unions and the unions have got a lot to answer for here. Uh, they have been missing in action, badly missing in action. Um, but I said, you know, we got to get this bumper sticker out, and it's a talking yeah. tree. Yes. And the tree says, no CO2, no me. That's it. And then a koala bear in a fluorescent jacket and a hard hat, and the koala bear says, no tree, no me. Yep. So you take away carbon dioxide. Absolutely. But look, the elementary thing is a tiny little country, a 25 million people, is telling India and China that they're not going to have any coal. Are you quite mad? Are you completely crazy, are you? You're going to tell India and China they can't have any coal. Well, God help our children and grandchildren. 100% correct. I mean, we're talking here about a stack of pain and no gain. I speak to Bjorn Lomborg often on this program. He has described Biden's climate alarmism as almost entirely wrong. And one of the leading researchers in the world on this subject is the Czech Canadian Vaclav Smil. And he said, quote, the great hope for a quick and sweeping transition into renewable energy is wishful thinking. Now, Bob, do Albanese and Bowen and Keane and co know more about this than people like Vaclav Smil and Bjorn Lomborg? The thing that has got me fascinated is for all this talk they have reduced emissions by only 16% in 20 years. If they had moved to ethanol, Brazil is on 49% of their petrol is ethanol, and they pay $1.29. America is on 15% ethanol. Al Gore, the Greenies patron saint, the Bible of Greenies, and his first solution is ethanol. Well, you haven't gone to ethanol. I mean, what have you actually done to reduce CO2. Absolutely nothing. But you've done plenty to convince the public that you're doing something yes. about CO2. Yes. And we are now, today, we passed legislation subsidising imports. What, 
country on earth subsidises imports. We uh, have passed legislation subsidising the import of electric vehicles. And today, oh, we forgot about the spare parts. So we passed legislation today subsidising imports on electrical vehicles. Spare parts. 